Welcome to the Virtual Pathfinder channel. In this video I will show the equipment setup used for shooting an image of the Dumbbell Nebula M27. The telescope used was a 72mm refractor, the Skywatcher 72ED telescope, which is a fairly well color corrected telescope. It is even described as an apochromatic refractor by some, although it is a dual lens design with low dispersion glass. In my opinion this telescope is not far from a true apochromatic refractor. There are some things I really like about this telescope. First is the size and weight of it, just over 30 centimeters or about 12 inches without the dew shield, while the weight is just over 2 kilos or 4.5 pounds. Then there is the bright optics with aperture ratio f6, which reduces the need for very long exposures of deep sky objects. Finally, I like the short focal length which enables wide field imaging. It is easy to increase the focal length when needed by using a Barlow lens, for instance when shooting planets. As the case with all refractors, it has good contrast compared to reflector telescopes, which is another advantage. I bought it a couple of years ago when it was just released and it was a real bargain at that time at about 350 euros or US dollars. Since the pandemic in 2020 with the current inflation the price has gone up to about 500 euros or US dollars compared to other telescopes that is a relatively low price. Before starting it is necessary to locate the object in the sky using a Stellarium app. In this video I use Sky Safari Pro on my iPad. When searching the object a description comes up and it is possible to center the object in the display. As can be seen, the Dumbbell Nebula is a bit below the bright star Vega, which is relatively easy to find. The Dumbbell Nebula is relatively big with a diameter of 8 arc minutes, which is about 25% of the diameter of the Moon. The visual magnitude is plus 7, which is fairly bright, and with aperture ratio of f6 it is sufficient with about 1 minute exposures. One problem with using an ordinary system camera for astrophotography is that it filters out infrared light which makes it hard to image some deep sky objects, mainly those that emit lights in the hydrogen alpha spectral line at 656 nanometers. Luckily the Dumbbell Nebula is easy to image with an ordinary camera. To capture the Dumbbell Nebula I used an Olympus OMD EM5 Mark II Micro Four Thirds camera. This camera can be remote controlled using the OI Share app for iOS. In my case I used it on an iPad using ISO set to 1600 which for some reason is the maximum for this app. The exposure is set at live time which means that it can be started by clicking on a start button and later stopped by clicking on a stop button on the iPad. That is very useful when doing long exposures since the display shows the brightness of the image as the exposure progresses. In this case I made a 40 seconds exposure at ISO 1600. When shooting deep sky objects it's necessary to make long exposures. For that reason it's very important to use an astronomical motorized mount or a totally stable tripod and a star tracker which tracks the relative movement of the stars in the sky caused by Earth rotation. With the equipment in place, the last important step is to align the motor axis parallel to Earth axis of rotation by pointing it towards the North Celestial Pole. The resulting image looks very good, but I had switched off the noise reduction, so there's a bit of noise. If I had more time, I would have shot multiple frames and stacked them to reduce noise. Still, I think the image looks good, no star trail, and even the small stars look nice and round.
about the Dumbbell Nebula, M27 is 1,400 light years from Earth. It has a visual magnitude of plus 7. That was all. If you found this video interesting, please subscribe to this channel. I will make more videos about astronomy and space exploration soon. Until then, have a nice day.